Morning everyone, welcome to my midweek blog here from St Mary's Church. I hope you're all keeping well. It's a really difficult time. I've got to really admit to you again, I've struggled this past week with um, this lockdown and it's been a kind of a mixed blessing really because um, quite rightly, many of you have now decided to stay at home and, and we had a great um, Celtic evening prayer on Sunday. It was about, I think it was about um, 25 to 30 of us did that. And if you'd like to do that, let me know because it'd be really good to have more of you. Um, we've, but we've also had people coming to church, which is also really good. And I think for those who've come, they'll know that it feels very safe um, and, um, you know, that it's, it's a, it's, it's the, the wardens are working really hard to do a great job to keep us coming in. So mixed blessings all around, and, and, but I do pray and hope that you are doing all right. And I was thinking, you know, one of the things that really helps me, particularly when I am feeling uh, particularly low, is, is, is the Bible and this wonderful Bible which my daughter's bought for me um, when I was, had been um, here 10 years in the parish. Um, it's a sanctuary for me. And, 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 and quite often it feels a bit weird to say that God's, word is a sanctuary but it really is when i'm feeling when i'm struggling to be in god's word is such a, a a really powerful and important thing for me and the psalms are really good lots of people use the psalms to um to find comfort psalm 27 is uh, particularly and there's a couple of things in it which really stand out for me it starts off the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear? Incredible confidence of the psalm writer, isn't it? You know, because God is my light and my salvation, nothing's going to affect me. That's, that's really encouraging and uplifting. And he says, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? To take that confidence in God and to use that is really important. So you can see already, you know, I'm here in scripture with you and already I'm feeling uplifted and confident because of what others have felt in God. He goes on, though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. Whatever the world throws at me, as long as I've got God, I'm going to be okay. And then this, one of my favourite lines from all the Psalms. One thing I ask of the Lord that I will seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. More than anything, more than all the things of the world, the one thing that the Psalmist wants is to live in the house of the Lord. And not in a sense, I'm not talking about coming and living in St Mary's Church, because that would be daft, wouldn't it? But, but to, in a in sense, indwell with God, be with God. And, you know, how important that is to be in with God all your life. And it says, For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. So when you're struggling like me, what do you do? Sometimes I might put the telly on and, I, and we've come across some great box sets. Sometimes it's quite good, isn't it, to lie out on the sofa and just watch a bit of telly. A bit self-indulgent. Sometimes we read books and I've got a wonderful um, Ian Rankin book on the go at the moment and I can kind of lose myself in the world. I also said to you last week to get out to the countryside and I know many of you do that anyway and, and that's been wonderful, particularly on a lovely cold winter's day. But the birds are starting to sing now, dunnocks are singing in our hedgerows, being outside. Maybe you're someone that just likes the peace and quiet. But how many of us really immerse ourselves in scripture in the Holy Bible, and I would really encourage you to do that. It is really uplifting because you recognise that other people before you have felt the same things as you and have always sought God as refuge in those moments. And the Psalms, um, uh, some of them are quite difficult, but, but you know, like so many, like the 23rd Psalm, 
Psalm 127, you know, they're all Psalm 100. They all have ways of engaging with us and helping us to find confidence in God in what is a particularly difficult time. Psalm 27 finishes, I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. So even if you, you're in one of those moments where you're struggling, you don't feel that God is close, wait for him. God will come. Maybe in the words of a friend, maybe in the encouragement of your priest, maybe from the pages of scripture, or maybe just in the power of your own prayer life, or maybe as you're on the common in the beautiful nature. The psalmist writes, teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they are breathing out violence. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path. So let's pray. So Lord, teach us your ways. Help us to walk on that level path. Help us more than anything, Lord, to desire to be in your presence always. Teach us to use the resources that you've given us, the natural world, your holy word, your holy family that we are part of. And Lord, help us to see your goodness in the land of the living. Help us to wait for you, to be strong and to have courage. Help us, Lord, to wait for you. Amen. So keep safe, everybody. Keep well. Lots to do um, or to engage. You can watch services online. You can watch my blogs online. You can come to church live if you want to be part of it here. You can join us for Zoom on a Wednesday night at five o'clock or a Sunday at five o'clock. Celtic on a Sunday. Common worship on a Wednesday. But so lots of ways. Or just pick up the phone or just go for a walk. Keep safe. We're in this together. God is with us on the journey and God blesses us today. So final words of blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. God bless everybody. Speak to you very soon.